a town buried deep under the rubble. The air is thick with dust and the atmosphere is anything but hopeful. Yet rescue operations have been working tirelessly for the past four days searching for any glimpse of life under this destruction. Zarina is picking up the pieces of what was supposed to be a new beginning, a new life for her family of four. She is one among 45,000 people who have been displaced as a result of this powerful earthquake. I haven't seen my husband in four days. He is still traumatized by what this earthquake has done to our lives. We have experienced it twice now, first the tsunami in 2004 and now this. Now she spends her time at this temporary shelter with her two children, waiting for the day she can step into her home once again, a home that is now in ruins. I hope the government can help me rebuild my home. I don't have any money left. I spent all my savings to build a house now, and it's destroyed. The Indonesian government is trying to mobilize help across the regencies affected by this quake, mainly in Chubo, a small town on the outskirts of Pd Jaya, Aceh. Right now in this town, even basic necessities like food and water is a luxury. As you can see behind me, the destruction is massive. The past couple of days has been very challenging, but President Joko Widodo has lightened the burden quite a bit. Refugee camps are available around the city, and about 1,000 mobile clinics have been provided. The government has already spent an estimated 3.5 billion U.S. dollars on assistance. Chinese government is also among those providing relief to the victims. They are donating as much as 100,000 U.S. dollars through Indonesia's Red Cross organization. Volunteer doctors at this makeshift hospital is bringing hope and providing care in the wake of sorrow. Psychological support is the most important thing for the people here. In the past few days, we've experienced a total of five aftershocks. That makes it difficult for the survivors to heal completely. Dr. Arena has been working to heal those survivors for the last four days, many with severe injuries. Today alone, she has treated more than 100 patients, including children, dealing with trauma after this tragedy. Patients that come in here are usually having trouble sleeping properly, especially children. Most of them are physically unhealthy because they are mentally unstable. It is heroes like Dr. Arena that is continuously pouring in the time and effort to ease the pain for the hundreds of survivors of this quake. Sulkina Aluwalia, CCTV, PD Jaya, Aceh, Indonesia.